Hello, everyone. So I wanted to post a video uh, to talk a little bit about the module one uh, reading response guidelines uh, and rubric in preparation. So many of you are going to be submitting that. I see a couple have come in already, uh, but many of you are going to be submitting this reading response. And so one of the things that you frequently see when somebody does a reading response is that they want to tell you what the reading is about. Uh, they want to give you a summary. And while a summary is really useful uh, for a lot of purposes, and certainly we use summary as we're thinking about writing and as we're thinking about um, communicating central ideas in a text, really when we're doing academic writing, we're thinking about, yes, that central idea, but we're thinking about the ways in which the uh, topic of the text is communicated to a specific audience for a specific purpose um, with a specific intention. And so this assignment is really all about getting you to think about an article or getting you to think about an idea from this rhetorical lens rather than just summarizing that article, which again is, is valuable and useful in its own right. And so to do this, um, I copied a uh, clip of a video that I've used for a long time in composition classes that I think is really valuable as we can begin thinking about the rhetorical situation. And it kind of serves as a, um, it's very meta, it's very middle. Uh, so it, it's about the thing that we're learning about. Um, but it's Simon Sinek's text, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. And if you take a few minutes, actually, you only really need to watch the first seven or so minutes of it to get the gist and to get what he's saying. But essentially, it's about uh, leading with a thesis, leading with your purpose, rather than leading with a bunch of uh, particular details. Right. So the the example I always give is if I'm going to tell a story, um, I'm going to tell why I'm, I'm going to share why I'm telling that story early. Right. So um, I might say something like, you know, uh, I always find myself in in strange situations. Right? And so I might say, you know, the other day uh, I was at the grocery store and I went to go grab an orange off of the um, off the produce rack. Right. And as I grabbed the orange, it let go of five oranges on top of it and they all fell down and now I'm surrounded by rolling fruit, right? So now you have a context for why I'm telling this story. Um, you know that I'm saying it because I find myself in these in these awkward situations. Um, if I had just led with, hey, the other day I was in the store in the store and I grabbed an orange and a bunch of, of others fell around, that maybe, maybe that would be feel relevant, maybe it would feel important, but really what you need is you need the purpose behind it. You need why I'm telling this story. And so Simon Sinek talks about why it's so important to lead with our purpose. And then you can fill in the purpose with these specific details. And so I encourage you to watch the video. Uh, and so I'm gonna go through some of the uh, items that you need to address in your reading response in relation to Simon Sinek's uh, video, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. And so you're gonna be choosing one of three articles that are all linked uh, in the module under your reading response for the week. Um, and so you're gonna be doing a similar kind of parallel activity. So for those texts, you're gonna be going through this same eight step process, okay? So it says the first step is to choose the text that you will be using for your project and then explain why you chose that text, what attracted you to the text and why you're interested in it. So I would say that I chose, uh, if, I'm, if I'm using my Simon Sinek example, so again, you have to choose one of the three texts that's provided, and that's going to be the one you use throughout this course. So you, have to, you want to make sure you're, you're choosing intentionally. But if I'm using my example text, I'm going to say, I chose Simon Sinek's How Great Leaders Inspire Action, right? because uh, I think it's important to be intentional about why we do things and why we share things. And I'm interested in it because I think that the more we think about how we uh, present our ideas and the more we think about how we connect with other people, the more effective our communication will be. Right. So that then that would be the kind of thing that I would say for the first one. Identify the topic of the text. The topic is about the golden circle. Right. So he talks about the golden circle. He talks about this idea of um, how the most complex thing that we have at the center is our why and that's contextualized by our how and our what. So the topic of the text is a framework for understanding um, purpose and understanding communication. Uh, number three, the genre of the text. So the genre of this text 
is uh, informative and persuasive. He's trying to inform us of the way that, that our mind works, right? The way that our brain is structured and the way communication works. And he's trying to persuade us to take a specific rhetorical stance that we should start with why. Um, the writer's purpose. The writer's purpose, I think, really was um, to try to raise awareness of, around why some ideas work and why some people uh, can connect with others and why some don't, and that it has nothing to do really with the quality of the particulars. It has to do with whether people can resonate with the idea. I think the writer wrote it to dispel the myth that things that are known are necessarily better. I think it's it, he's trying to talk about the reasons behind um, people adhering to specific sets of values and ideas. The historical context of this text, so this text was written in 2009. And in 2009, we are trying to figure out why. So we are in the midst of an economic recession in the US. He is at a business symposium and he's talking about TED. So TED is a technology, education, and design uh, symposium. And so he's trying to help other people who are who are leaders in their industry figure out why some products and some ideas uh, resonate with audience and some don't. Right. So that's the historical context. The cultural context is once again, if we look at the TED audience, right, the TED stage, um, culturally, this is among people who are open to new ideas. These are typically people who are engaged in education, um, and we know that even people now who watch TED. Right, are trying to expand their uh, their knowledge base. And so culturally, TED serves as a kind of open source lecture series. Um, and it, it's always kind of served in that context. And it should be noted that this is early in uh, the TED, the TED um, lifespan, right? So TED came out in the early 2000s, this is 2009. So um, it, it's, it's a bit older now. The core idea of the text, is that we should think about the different ways that our ideas resonate and what parts of our idea is the purpose, what parts are the execution, and what parts are the particular details that surround it. Um, the details that relate to the core of the text, he provides an example about Apple, he provides an example about the Wright brothers, he provides an example about Martin Luther King Jr.'s message. And so all of these, uh, elements of the text are fractals or represent, for, for you math people, they're fractals, uh, they're, they're representations, uh, small representations of this larger idea. And so um, that's it. So hopefully what you see here is that really all we're looking for is to, yeah, our, it's important to understand what the text is about and what it addresses when you're looking at your articles. But it's just as important to think about when that text was written, who that text's intended audience was, uh, when it happened, where it happened, uh, who, is it, who it was intended for, right? All of these things that are represented by those ideas. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want additional information, there's a student exemplar that I've linked in my announcement and uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much.